Hey everyone, today I am going to share my Avon haul with you and I'm really excited because I haven't ordered from Avon in such a long time, like I think over a year ago, maybe not a year ago, I'm probably exaggerating, but anyway, they have a lot of new products out that I haven't tried yet, so I kind of picked up a few things and I just want to share them all with you. I haven't used them yet, so I don't really have any opinions on them. I'm just kind of swatching and showing you guys what I got, so let's get right into it. The first thing I have to show you is the Avon Ideal Luminous Blush. It comes in a black case like this and it came in this little box. So the compact is pretty big and I don't remember the blushes being this big. I don't know if this is a new formula. Um, I think it's just their old one and they put new packaging on it. This is the shade Heavenly Pink and I'm going to open it up show it to you. It has a really big mirror in here and um, a little brush and it's kind of soft. I mean it's not bad quality but it's still it's just too small for me to do my blush with so I wouldn't use it but it's not that bad and here is what heavenly pink looks like it's a really pretty bright matte pink and I'm just gonna swatch it for you using my finger here's what it looks like and there it is on my hand and I really like it the texture is nice and soft and it's for a matte blush that's really good because sometimes I notice with Avon blushes in the past that they've been kind of powdery and chalky but this there's like no little dust anywhere to be seen and so far I mean it it feels really nice I haven't used it on my face yet but I really do like that color then I got some mascaras they were having a really good deal so I got four of them and I know that sounds like a lot in craziness but you know when they have a good sale I like to jump on it since I don't buy Avon that often and the first one is the Avon Super Shock Mascara. I've seen Pixie Woo use this so many times and I was just you know really curious about it so I picked it up and it's a really big fat tube like this thing is like a weapon you could totally knock someone out with this I am not kidding um, but anyway the brush is rubber bristles and it kind of reminds me of like those CoverGirl Lash Blast mascaras they're just like these big huge kind of plasticky bristles and usually I'm not a fan of mascaras like this so I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but I've seen Pixie Woo use it and it always looks really good on their lashes so hopefully the formula is nice but there is the Super Shock wand and it's pretty huge so I mean I don't have small eyes but I think this is kind of like it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge I mean even for me cuz look at this it's like it's like longer it's like almost as big as my eye so it's kind of crazy but yeah that's the super shock then I got super shock max because I just wanted to try it there's no reason really and this one is in the same kind of tube except for it's blue and this one has a different wand it's also rubber bristles but it's like they kind of have these gaps like these spirally gaps and here's what the wand on the Super Shock Max looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't have, the bristles are kind of spiraled down the wand. They're not just like straight lined on there like the Super Shock. So the Max is kind of set up a little differently, but it looks very similar. So there is Super Shock on the left and Super Shock Max on the right. And as you can see, they both look really similar. I mean, it's not going to be too much of a difference probably, but yeah, I just wanted to try both of them. Now for the other two, I got the Super Drama Mascara. This is one of their newer ones, and I really liked the way that the tube looked. I thought it was just really pretty, and uh, I was very intrigued by this wand. You guys, this is the weirdest wand. <laughs> okay, maybe not the weirdest, because I've seen some weird stuff, but this is one of the strangest mascara wands I have ever seen, and I don't know how it's going to work, so I just had to get it because I was like, that is so weird. And I don't know if you guys can really see the discs because they're covered in mascara, but they're like these little circles. Like the whole wand is made out of little circles and I just thought that was really interesting and I just wanted to see how it would work with my lashes. So yeah, there's the super drama. There you go, you can kind of see it. Do you see the bristles? They're like little circles, little pieces of plastic shaped like circles stack on top of each other. And I was just like, that is so strange, I need to try it. So there's the Super Drama Mascara. This is the Avon Super Extend Extreme Mascara. This is what the tube looks like. I have never tried this one either before. And it's also a rubber bristle wand and it looks like these big, it kind of looks like a lash comb. I mean, the bristles are very far apart from each other. They're very spiky too, so I'm very curious about this. I haven't tried a mascara wand 
that has looked like this before. It's just like these huge, they're kind of like big, they look like teeth almost. So there's the Super Extend Mascara. And yeah, so those are all the mascaras I got. The next eye product that I got is the Avon Cream Eyeshadow. Here's the little box. I bought the shade Frothy Mocha. And that sounds delicious. Now I want some coffee. But I have not ever bought these. These aren't new, I don't think. The cream eyeshadows. They come in this cute little glass pot. It reminds me a lot of Maybelline color tattoos. And that's why I wanted to try it. Because you all know how obsessed I am with color tattoos. So here is Frothy Mocha. It's in a really cute little glass jar. And I haven't swatched it yet. So let's do that. Because I want to see this right now. Oh, that's actually really pretty. There is Frothy Mocha. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like an almost metallic finish just like a Maybelline color tattoo it's like a golden like a rose gold taupe almost like in the sunlight it kind of looks taupe and then in the shade it kind of has like this smoky gold rose goldness to it I don't know it's kind of like a duo chrome type thing going on I really love this shade I might if I like this I might get other ones because they have more shades to choose from so and it kind of feels cooling it feels like on my skin right now it kind of feels cooling so that'll be nice on the eyes um yeah so there's frothy mocha very nice i cannot wait to wear this last but not least are the lip products that i chose and i did pick all reds so i know that people are gonna be like why'd you buy only reds but um i haven't tried actually i've tried the glaze wear glosses and i have a lot of shades of these all pinks i actually never bought a red one so um other than that i haven't tried any of these yet and whenever i try out a new lip product I always like to get red because I feel like it's a safe color for me since I love wearing red and I'm not gonna explain myself you guys know I love red but sometimes I just get people who are like oh my god that's so much red but you know uh, red is my favorite color to wear on the lips and if you think this is a lot of red lipsticks you should see my collection because most of them are red lipsticks enough about that first up is this Avon ultra glaze wear lip gloss and I love the glaze wears like I said I have a lot of these they just changed the packaging let me show you what it looks like this is like a little rectangle now and I like it but I kind of miss the old one because this is what they used to look like the glaze wears and um, I have a lot of these most of them are these kind of like rosy pink shades and I think this might be a newer shade I'm not sure because I never saw it before it's called fiery red and Avon has different types of glosses this is just one of them and um, through the glaze wear line like they have shimmer they have cream the ultra I'm not sure why it's called ultra but you know they have different like finishes within categories of lip gloss and sometimes it's like overwhelming because there's so many to choose from and this is the shade fiery red so I'm just gonna swatch this for you it has it looks like a cream I mean it doesn't look like it has shimmer in it oh my gosh that is so pretty I love this color I'm so happy I got it this is a fiery red really now the next gloss I got is called Extra Lasting Lip Gloss. So this is a whole different type of lip gloss. It's not even in the glaze wear category. This is a newer product to me. I have never tried anything extra lasting before. So um, I actually bought this because my cousin had this shade and I love the way that it looked on her. I was like, what is that? I need that. And she was like, it's Avon Extra Lasting in Always Apple. And I was like, that is the cutest name and the prettiest color. Like I really, I just had to have it in my life. I know I say that a lot. But so there is always apple and it does have shimmer in it. I mean the tube you can kind of see it has like iridescent shimmer in it but once you swatch it it kind of melts away like you can still see it but like it's not as obvious like I it kind of the shimmer kind of just disappears and I really like it. It's a nice finish. It, ha it still has sparkle to it, but it kind of is like, it's so subtle that you have to be like in your face to see it. And I really like that because shimmer is not my favorite finish, but this shimmer I can totally, you know, get away with and actually like wearing. Then of course I had to get the matching extra lasting lipstick and I haven't tried this line at all. I don't know why. I love Avon lipsticks and I had to get this one because extra lasting, I don't know, I just wanted to try it out. And this is the shade made no that is not <laughs> the shade made in mexico no just look at this red like can we take a moment to stare at its glory like it is so 
red. It's very bright and it's called Fiery Red so I'm not sure if it's supposed to go with the Avon Glazeware Fiery Red. Who knows because it's in the extra lasting line. It's a mystery. We, we don't know. This feels so creamy. Here's Fiery Red, the lipstick. It looks just like the lipstick in the tube. Like I am so impressed. This was just one swipe on my hand and it is very creamy. It just it just glue like oh my god I am I'm at a loss for words but it feels so buttery and silky it just kind of like went on there like nothing it was just like hey check me out then I got another lipstick this is just from their ultra color lipstick line I think it's just their original lipstick line and um, I guess they changed the packaging on it because it used to be like this kind of roundish shape and now it's just this little simple rectangle I like it but I have now it doesn't match all my other Avon lipsticks and that's gonna drive me insane but anyway this is the shade lava love and it kind of looks like a pinkish red and I don't have it I think this is a newer red shade and I just wanted it so yep let's swatch it for you and let's see oh that is also really pretty that is lava love that's really bright it kind of has like a pinkish tone to it I am as you can tell like in my voice you can like hear the excitement there is lava love once again and it's kind of like almost it's satiny but it looks kind of matte I don't know what finish this is supposed to be but it says it just says Lava Love Ultra Color, but it looks kind of like a satiny, like it looks matte on the camera, but in real life it has more of a, a very subtle shine to it. I really like how it looks, like it is so beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, look at my hand, it's just like covered in red. So I ended up paying $42 for all of this stuff and some of the things were on sale. I don't know if the sales are still going on, but um, if you just go on the Avon website, you can see all of their prices for everything. You can see all the products that they offer. I've been wearing Avon for, I would say, since I was like 16, that's when I first really started trying Avon and that's when my cousin started selling it. So um, yeah, around when she first started selling it, I would order a little bit here and there from her and um, I have a lot of favorites from Avon that I really love that I continue to order um, through her. So I guess I could share those with you some other time. This was just a haul and um, let me know what your Avon favorites are because I will place another order probably very soon if I like these products and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts so I could, you know, keep them in mind next time I make my order. So as always, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and of course, thank you all so much for like trying products I recommend. I think that's so cool. Like you have no idea how cool I think that is. And quick side note, I always list down below what makeup I have on my face like not every little thing but like the key products like what my blush is lipstick eyeshadow you know things like that and um, so please check out my description boxes I've been doing this for the past few months now and I usually you know when I get asked I can't answer everybody I try to but please just be sure check out the description because I always leave a ton of stuff in there and quick side note I'm not wearing any of those Avon red lipsticks I mentioned in this video I'm actually wearing a makeup forever lipstick and it's from their rouge artist intense line and i don't know how much this was it was kind of pricey i think it was like 30 dollars but i really love it the shade is so gorgeous yeah i just kind of wanted to dedicate a whole video talking about avon products because i've never done it before and i just thought it would be kind of fun and different so i hope you guys found this helpful or interesting and as always thank you so much for watching